warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Hikmatin Sima Agustiana. I came from West Bandung. In this occasion, I'm going to tell you a story from the north coast of Sumatra with the title Marin Kunda. Hmm, I guess surely all of you have heard this story. But don't go anywhere because now I'm going to tell you this story in detail. So, let's get started. Very long time earlier, on the north coast of Sumatra, lived a poor woman and her son who called Marin Kunda. His father eventually died, and his mother lived alone as a poor old woman. Marin Kunda grew up as a skillful young boy. He always helps his mother to earn some money, and he loved her so much. Time went quickly. Marin Kunda grew up to be a great looking, wise, and strong man. One day, Marin Kundang decided going to overseas to look at a job in a big city. Mom, I intend to go to huge city to find work. Asked Marin. Then leave me alone, my son, said his mommy. I should go, mom. I don't wish to see you work hard any longer. I guarantee I'll return. Replied Marin. With tough feeling, Marin's mommy allowed her son go. The next day, Marin went to the large city by a ship. There, he met a beautiful woman, a daughter of the wealthiest vendor in the city, and Marin fell in love with her. In short, they lost the marriage. Malin then ended up being a wealthy man in the city with many vendorship, a huge lovely residence, as well as numerous servants. Malin was prosperous right now, but he forgot his own mother. He forgot his mother, who constantly waited her son return every early morning in the harbor. Yet, Malin never came back. Eventually, Malin's wife, Wish to go vacation in the next island, which took three days cruising. So, Marin prepared his big lovely ship and whatever to cruise. However, in the middle of the trip, the storm located his ship. Therefore, the ship needed to board in the closest island. And do you know? Unknowingly, that the island they landed on was the island where Malin was born. It was an uncommon event. A huge extravagant ship boarded in the island where all of the villagers are angler. Therefore, every citizen near the harbor came to see, including Malin's mother. Malin's mom was shocked as well as so happily. She showed Malin in the ship. With Hari, Marin's mom was likely to fulfill her beloved son. Is that you, Marin? Is that you, my precious son? I'm your mommy. You bear in mind? Ask it, Marin's mother. Son, she claimed you are her son. Is it real, Marin? Is this bad? Old sting lady, your mommy? Marin's wife shocked. No, no, my dear. I don't know this poor woman. I don't know you, poor old woman and sting. Step Marin. And what Marin said really injured his mother hurts. She cried and cried. She didn't think her own son did tribal point on her. And with anger, she prayed to the Almighty God to respond exactly what her son had actually done to her. And what happened? Unexpectedly, the wine blow hard and the tornado roared. Marin and his wife returned to the ship to take shelter. But the storm got worse and hit Malin's ship, destroyed it. And 
and what happened after it? Everyone in the ship was died, including Marine's wife. So, what happened to Marine? Marine himself cursed. His body turned to rock and merged with the coral stone. Well, my dearest audience, I think that's enough from me. Thank you for your kind attention. But before I close, the moral value that we can learn from this story is it reminding us not to forget the kindness of a mother. Like peanuts forget their skin. Especially, the purpose of this story is for children to respect their parent and not to be disobedient. Okay, put all your goodness in the world and happiness will cover your life. See you next time. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.